we're gonna do a fresh glowy spring makeup look let's start off with charlotte tilbury's hollywood flawless filter i'm using the shade one fair and i like to apply this to the perimeters of my face because i don't want to emphasize texture in the center too much this just gives you the most beautiful skincare goddess glow you see that Ooh, that's the she just got a facial she's drinking her water glow a lot of products come close but nothing can really beat it honestly you could just leave the skin like this because it looks super beautiful and fresh but i do want to add just a little bit more coverage so i'm going to take my laura mercier weightless perfecting foundation i actually have samples i wanted to try it out before i committed to the full size but i will say it is so gorgeous i'm gonna have to mix two shades one and two vanilla and two and one i don't know what the name is honestly i could probably just go in with two but we'll mix the consistency of this foundation is so unique it almost feels a little bit oily but there's no oils in the formula which is crazy it's actually a water-based foundation it really just glides across the skin it feels like nothing it lasts all day but it gives you like the most natural healthy skin-like finish but still gives you amazing like medium to full coverage it's literally like magic and i'm just using my rare beauty foundation brush to press that into the skin i can see why this foundation went viral i really want to pick up the full size i think i applied a little bit more than i usually would but it's fine <laughs> it's fine this concealer is perfect for dewy spring skin it is the l'oreal true match radiant serum concealer i'm using the shade 1n under the eyes it's a little bright so i might mix in a little bit of w3 as well but this concealer is very thin it dries down and lasts really well without on my skin creasing it doesn't hardly ever crease on me which is crazy because it sets down by itself and because it kind of has that almost blurring effect me as someone with dry skin i don't always have to set this powder especially on like a no makeup makeup day i usually just leave it i'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter shade just a touch down the center of my face and i'm just using my rare beauty concealer brush to pat that in you may ask yourself, Ashley, why are you doing a spring makeup look with a full-on fluffy sweater? And I would say to you, tomorrow is supposed to be 80 degrees where I live, which is like crazy. But today, like 66 degrees outside, are you guys having crazy weather fluctuations in your state or country that you live in? Because I feel like this year, the weather has been so strange where I live. It's like one day it's cold, the next day it's hot. There's no middle ground. There's no graduation. It's just hot and cold. You're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you no. Know. You're up and you're down. You left and you're right. We fight, we break up, we kiss, we make up. Okay, this is what the skin is looking like. I think everything looks really pretty. Very skin-like, glowy, but not oily. And again, all of these products are going to set down if you have more dry to normal skin like me. If you have oily skin, you might need to use a little bit of powder. I am going to use a touch, but honestly, these things stay in place really well while still maintaining that glowy skin-like finish. Before we set, I am going to go in with a little bit of blush. I'm taking my e.l.f. Liquid Camo Blush in the shade Dusty Rose. And just pressing that into the skin. I like to do one cheek at a time because they do dry a little quickly. And they are pretty pigmented, so I like to work in layers. And I am bringing the pigment up rather close to my eyes because I just feel like it looks very youthful and fresh when you have the blush higher up. Also in the spring and summer especially, I find bringing your blush beneath your eyes and even across your nose in sort of this W shape is gonna look super natural and give you that sun-kissed effect. And then I like to take my foundation brush and just go around the edges to really melt it into the skin and also just make sure I didn't drag it down too low. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Moira Set and Correct pressed powder. This one has like four different color correcting shades. I usually just dip into the white and the peachy tones. This is a really blurring powder. 
but it never looks dry or cakey on the skin. So if you have dry skin like me, this is a really great powder to check out. I just like to focus it here in my T-zone where I have the largest pores. And then I am gonna set the forehead as well. You don't have to do this. You can leave as little or as much glow as you like. For bronzer and highlight, I'm gonna go into this Baked Full Face Basics from Laura Geller. The packaging of this is super chunky and cardboardy, cheapy, but honestly, Laura Geller powders are so amazing and actually really underrated. I don't hear anybody talking about her as a brand. I feel like they're kind of one of those sleeper brands. It's just not a super trendy brand, I guess, but these powders are just so perfect for that dewy skin look. And if you don't like a lot of creams and liquids, or if you want some more longevity, or if you just find powders to be easier to work with, these are great because they give you the ease and the longevity of a powder while still giving you that really skin-like luminous finish that just looks ultra fresh and glowy. I'm going in with the bronzer right now. It's the Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. I don't know if this is technically a deeper highlight, but I use it as a bronzer. And again, I'm gonna take it onto the apples of my cheeks and across the nose for that really natural, like, sun-kissed look. I don't know if she offers different shades in this, but any glowy bronzer would work, so you don't necessarily have to use this one. I am gonna take the highlights as well. There's two highlights, one's more natural. It's the baked highlighter in French Vanilla, and then the more, like, kind of sparkly one is in Portofino. So I'm just gonna mix the two. You don't have to do this because again, we do have a lot of glow going on, but I'm really committing to the glowy skin. And the great thing about baked highlighters is that they don't look metallic or stripey on the skin. For the lips, I'm gonna take this Lip Appeal Waterproof Liner from Moira. I have the shade Discreet. It's just a really deep neutral brown and I love it for contouring my lips. These are really creamy, but they set down and last. In the center of my lips, I'm gonna take this, I forget exactly what the name is, I'll pop it on the screen. It's from Judy Doll. It's kind of like a tinted lip balm, but it's got a bit more pigment than a normal tinted lip balm. I'm gonna set the brows with my CoverGirl Brow Enhancer Gel Wax. This is a really heavy duty brow gel from the drugstore. It is a little bit thicker, but it really does keep your brows in place. So you could totally leave the look like this. You could pop on some mascara, curl the lashes, and you're good to go. But I'm an eyeshadow lover, so I do wanna do just a, just a little something, something, just a little something, something, you know? Totally optional, you can skip. I am going to just go in with a really pretty pale purple, because I feel like that's fun for spring, and I really wanna use this palette. This is from Odin's Eye Times Angelica. It's the little ghost palette. I got this in my Odin's Eye mystery box. If you want to see what else I got in that mystery box, I'll go ahead and link that and pop it in the little eye. I got a lot of good stuff in there, so I'm really excited to play with this. So I just wanna do like a really simple, like one and done pale purple lilac lavender moment on the eyes. I think that would be really pretty for spring. I'm gonna quickly prep my eyes with my Juvia's Place eye primer. I use the shade one. It's a pretty brightening shade, but it helps eyeshadows to pop, especially since we're going in with a more pastel color today. Before I go in with the lavender, I do wanna take my bronzer and just lightly sweep that through the crease, just to give a little bit of natural shadow and definition. And I'm just gonna take a little bit along my lower lash line as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this shade Skeleton, which is a really, really pale purple. It's almost white. So it's really gonna add some brightness to the lid while being a little bit more fun and interesting than just a normal cream or white shadow. Okay, I think that looks good. It's very simple, super subtle, but I like that. I'm gonna tight line with my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever, just to add some extra volume at the base of my lashes. I just curled my lashes, so now I'm gonna apply some of my L'Oreal Voluminous Black Mascara. This is the waterproof version. I like wearing waterproof mascaras in the spring and summer when I'm gonna be outside more because 
Personally, my eyes water a lot when I'm outside and it's sunny or windy. So I always opt for a waterproof or tubing formula. I'm just gonna apply mascara to the outer half of my lower lashes, not all the way in, just to keep it a little bit more open. All right guys, so here's the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I feel so cute and fresh faced for spring. Doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel like too much, but I feel perfected and I feel like myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.